Fibonacci is an integer of numbers in an infinite sequence. In using this sequence, the last number is produced by adding up the last previous two numbers. Welcome back again. In this video, we will be looking at how to use the Fibonacci retracement and extension to spot trend pullback and also how to use the Fibonacci to calculate our entry, our stop loss and our take profit accurately. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. I am Oya Benjamin and this is Zanda FST. We provide you with videos and tutorials that help you maximize profit and minimize losses. Now, let's go into the video properly. Just like I said earlier, Fibonacci is an integer of numbers in an infinite sequence. Now, the last number in the sequence is produced by the addition of the previous two last numbers. Okay, now let's look at it here. Now, this is how the Fibonacci is calculated. Now, let's assume uh, we have 0, 1, 1. Now, 0 plus 1 is 1. Now, 1 plus 1 gives us 2. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. 2 plus 3 gives us 5. Now, this is how the Fibonacci levels or the Fibonacci sequence are calculated. This number sequence creates the different level used by the Fibonacci tool in identifying the support and the resistant level of the price trend in the market. Now let's proceed to the video properly as we look at the Fibonacci tools and how to use them properly. Now, if you are using a trading view, you come over to this place. This is where the Fibonacci tools are. We're going to start with the Fibonacci retracement. Then we later we'll proceed to the extension. So you click on the retracement. Now, this is what you're going to do. You click and hold as you plot it out. You click and hold. Okay. And once you are done, you plot it out. Once you are done, your Fibonacci will look like this. Now, looking at this, you will discover that it's a little bit clustered. But for clarity's sake, we are going to be doing some settings on it so that we'll get it in a perfect condition that we we'll use. Now, let's go to the settings. Now, the first thing you do, you move your cursor and click on it. Go to the settings. Now, under the settings, the first thing we are going to do is to remove the background color. You uncheck the background. And once you uncheck the background, the colors of the background will disappear. The next thing we are going to be looking at, for clarity's sake, we are going to remove these numbers in brackets and leave the first number. Okay? You uncheck the price. Once you uncheck the price, the numbers in brackets will go off. Now, we'll be left with this. Looking at this now, you can see the numbers are in decimal. So we are going to put them in percentage so that it be easier for us. You come to the levels. Now change it to percentage. Okay. You can see the percentage is now clear. The next thing, you come down to the font here. You click it on 20. You can see that the numbers now are big enough for us to see. Another thing I will do, you tick in the line to your test. Okay. Now, once you are done with that, we are going to remove some numbers and let some numbers be. Okay. Now, we are going to uncheck this, uncheck this, uncheck this, uncheck this, and uncheck this. And we are going to leave these numbers 0, 0 0.348, 0 0.349, 0 0.352, 
0 0.618 and 0 0.5 once you are done you click ok and this will now become the new look of your Fibonacci retracement now these levels are called the golden zone because most of the pullback or most of the retracement occur within this zone now i want you to know that the market structure the market makes these waves it goes in waves now making these two waves now it goes in an impulsive wave then a correctional wave will intercept now the market will continue again impulsive wave a correctional wave impulsive wave correctional wave impulsive wave and so on and so forth now having understood this let's go back to our chart and see how we make use of the fibonacci retracement now you go over here this is where you see your Fibonacci tools. Now we pick our Fibonacci retracement. When using the Fibonacci retracement, now you are to look at the last swing high and the last swing low. Now these are the two things that we need when we want to plot the Fibonacci retracement. Before we plot this, we have to identify our swing high and our swing low. Now in this case now, this happened to be a swing high and this happened to be a swing low you pick your fibonacci retracement tool connect from the swing high the high of the swing high now to the low of the swing low you draw out okay you draw out you click now your fibonacci retracement is plotted if you look at it here you will discover that the market came down here tested the 61.80 pulled back now came back here again, tested it again, 61.80 and pulled back. Now, so if you are trading, you will be expecting that the next market that will be coming up will be rejected at 61.80. Now look at it here. It repeated here, came down here, rejected again at 61.80 and before the reversal occurred. Now let's look at uh, another example. Now this happened to be the swing low and this happens to be our swing high so you pick your tool your retracement tool connect it to the swing low the low of the swing low then drag to the high of the swing high and you draw out you draw it out and you click okay now looking at it here you discover that a pullback occurred at 38.20 percent zone of the fibonacci occurred here again now it gives you the signal that once the price touches 38.20 percent level of the fibonacci now a pullback will occur there so if i'm a trader i will come i will put my trade a little bit higher than the 38.20 because once the market touches 38.20% FIB level, there will be a pullback to continue the trend. This is how we use the Fibonacci retracement to spot when and where a trend is likely to pull back. Now we're going to look at how to use the Fibonacci tools to set our take profit and our stop loss. Now, there are two ways traders use the Fibonacci tools, either retracement or extension to find their take profit. The first set of people will prefer to take their profit at 0%. I put my take profit exactly the 0% level. I will put my stop loss below the 38.20 probably i put my stop loss here on the 50 level now let's look at the second way of calculating a stop loss using the fibonacci tool the next thing we are going to do 
is to use the Fibonacci extension to determine where our stop loss will be. Now, in using the Fibonacci extension, we'll be needing three points. The swing low, number one. Number two, the swing high. And number three, the swing low again. So, we'll pick the Fibonacci extension. This is the low of the swing low. You connect it to the high of the swing high. You click and you draw. Connect it. This is the low of the swing low. The last swing low. You draw it out and click. Now, when using this method, a lot of traders, for safety purpose or risk management, will prefer to take their profits at the level of 61.80. The second level is the 100 level. Now, these are two levels that traders normally take their profit when using the Fibonacci extension to calculate their take profit. So, this is how to calculate your take profit and your stop loss using the Fibonacci tool. With this, I believe you've learned something from this video. Now, before you go, Please don't forget to hit the subscription button, like and share the video because it helps the channel to grow. And above all, turn on the notification bell so that when I post the next video, you'll be notified. On this note, I say have a successful trading week ahead. Bye.